Hey, good morning, Brock. This is Steven from CMP GM here in Calgary. And this right here is our 2023 Cadillac XT5. First things first, I want to thank you for your interest in this unit and thank you for the opportunity to show you this vehicle. What I'll do in this video, I'll give you a brief walk around tour, go over some key features and explain why this vehicle is definitely worth your consideration. So let's get started. So as I mentioned, this is a 2023 model as low kilometers, uh, around 22, 23,000 kilometers. Um, it's finished in stellar black. And let's go ahead and start with some features. So you have LED daytime running lamps that work, that, that are uh, vertical. You have LED projector headlamps and LED turn signals. You also have front parking sensors along the bumper. Around the sides, you get 18 inch alloy wheels wrapped in Michelin all season rubber. The side mirrors have integrated LED turn signals. They're heated, auto dimming, and power folding as well now out back again full led lighting you also have rear parking sensors along the bumper you have a backup camera located right there and you have dual exhaust tips you also have as expected a power lift gate and that can be done with the button on the tailgate or on the key fob speaking of the key fob this vehicle does have remote start as well now back here you have a few little accessories. So you have a rail system that slides back and forth and locks into place. This is especially handy if you are carrying, you know, fragile um, things back here. Let's say you went grocery shopping, you have a loaf of bread and you have a case of water. Well, you don't want the case of water to slide around and crush the bread. Well, this will help separate that kind of stuff. You also have a cargo cover, okay, that pops into place to hide your belongings from prying eyes. Um, now below the floor, oops, there we go. Below the floor, you have a donut sized spare tire, your jack and your cord for your block heater, which this vehicle is equipped with. You also have a 12 volt DC plug, tie downs, one, two, and I believe three and four somewhere. Uh, you have LED lighting and like most SUVs, you have a 60-40 split rear bench, but unlike most SUVs, this has a very convenient handle right here because they are spring-loaded and right here. And that will drop down. I think there's something on the, on the seat. Anywho. Let's take a look at the rear seating. So, but before I do that, door handles, they have ambient lighting that glow at night and you have keyless proximity entry on all four doors so very handy go. fold that up so you have perforated black leather seating you have a center armrest that drops down with integrated cup holders you have a little uh, shelf here rear ac vents another shelf and you have usb-c and usb-a down below you have a flat floor these seats move forward and backwards they also recline above your head you have a very large panoramic sunroof and on the door panel you have this nice wood trim with the bose audio speaker grills looks really sharp and sounds great now up front you have a power driver seat with power lumbar support the passenger seat is also going to be power operated there uh, the driver's seat also has memory settings and you have a button right here with a knob to open the tailgate. Now what's special about this is that you can lock it out completely so it does not open, it's just manual. You can have it open all the way, so max, or you can choose to put it three quarters of the way. This is especially handy if you have a low ceiling in your garage and you're worried about the power lift gate uh, lifting into the ceiling and therefore damaging it. So that's very nice to have. Hop behind the wheel. You have a very nice, nice gauge cluster. The mileage at the time of this video is 22,893. You have a digital display right there and above that. There, here, there are uh, buttons here to go through uh, various menus and information. And then on top you have a uh, digital speedometer as well as that little white box right there. Now what that is, it's traffic sign recognition. So as you're driving along, or read traffic signs or speed uh, limit signs and display them there. Um, steering wheel is leather wrapped and it is heated. 
Okay, the seats are also heated, three level. I'll turn down the radio here. Um, going back to the steering wheel, you have a few extra buttons. So you have a button for your lane keep assist, your forward collision warning, and your gap adjust for your adaptive cruise control, which this vehicle does have. You have volume buttons, track buttons, and then over here, that's gonna be for your cruise control. And of course you have buttons for your Bluetooth and Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, which this vehicle has, and it is wireless. Um, to the left of the steering wheel, you have an electronic parking brake. To the right of the steering wheel, you have a uh, push button start. Uh, now let's talk about this infotainment screen. So it is touch, it is touch, sorry, it is a touch, a touch screen. Um, very responsive and easy to use. However, if you're someone that doesn't like to have fingerprints on their gloss black touchscreen, like myself, you do have you do have controls here that can control instead with shortcuts around it for music, navigation, your back button, and your phone button. You also have a volume knob located right here and buttons to skip tracks to the right and left of that. Uh, ahead of that, you have your um, electronic shifter it is um, connected to a nine speed automatic. And speaking of that, the engine is a 3.6 liter V6. Um, you have dual zone climate control. You have a little pocket here for storage. That slides back, revealing some cup holders. And then right here is a very important button. So you have mode. So you have touring mode, all wheel drive mode, sport mode, and off road mode. If you have it in touring mode, it actually locks a vehicle into front wheel drive. So two wheel drive, and that's great on a sunny day like today where you don't need all wheel drive and you can save some gas. But in a few weeks when it does start snowing, you can lock in all wheel drive and then sport mode keeps the revs up, makes it a little bit more responsive. Also in all wheel drive, and you can see that right there. So that's nice. Behind that, you have a wireless charger. Your phone kind of slips in there. And then you have a couple USBs in there as well and you have a felt lined center console so things don't rattle glove box also felt lined you have your original owner's manual and all that um, and one other thing i forgot to mention ahead of the dashboard right there you do have a cutout in the dash so this has forward collision warning and emergency braking if you're approaching an object at a high rate of speed and the vehicle senses that you're not slowing down it will project a very large uh red sign onto the windshield saying brake uh, if you don't brake it will uh, override the vehicle and brake for you um, other sensors you have parking sensors that are defeatable if you're not a fan of that and then you have your auto stop and start again defeatable if you're not a fan of that you have automatic high beams as well and you have automatic wipers so rain sensing anyway that's this vehicle in a nutshell please let me know your thoughts thanks for watching and i look forward to speaking to you further take care